All right, what is up, everybody? What is going on, man? We ready to get this gauntlet going? I've had a pretty short morning, man. I just woke up just a little bit while ago, trying to rush to get my thumbnail and everything done to start this gauntlet. <clears throat> Always love seeing the gauntlet, man. Even though the start, at least the first few rewards, are obviously not very good, uncommon, and all that stuff. The games are so quick; you get tons of picks. Especially if you uh, need good pulls on the draft board, the gauntlet is the place to be. Even if you don't care about the rewards, doing the event just for getting all of the easy picks, um, that's obviously one of the benefits of doing the gauntlet. Rushy, what is up? Johnston, what is up, man? Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Giannis, do I know something about bio biology? Um... Not really, man. <laughs> Not really. Math is my thing. Gauntlet is played. Oh my gosh, they're going to give me an intro to it. I want to see... I am. I really want to see how the last... And really what I think I'm going to use this gauntlet event for is kind of to judge how close we are going to be when we get to those epic primes, when we get to the very last Chris Dunn. How good is your deck going to be when you do those plus 7 games? How much better is your deck going to be? Kind of give you an idea of, I guess, the uh, maybe what deck you'll need once you get to the real gauntlet in a few weeks. First reset in the gauntlet pulled another Prime Pro. Rushy, that is what I'm talking about, dude. That's some good luck. I like seeing that. That is for sure. Hun, what is up, dude? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you hope your day is going good. Thursday. Today is Thursday, right? Um I think today yeah. today better be Thursday, yeah. I gotta go pick up my son at school today, but that's not for a couple hours. We're gonna be good, man. We're gonna grind this out. It seems like this Flash Gauntlet is going to be a little bit longer, but they do give us a bunch of free game nights. So we got free game nights. Should be able to get through the Gauntlet a lot quicker using those free game nights. Michael, what is going on, man? Thank you for coming out. Appreciate that. I hope you get some good pulls. I hope I get some good pulls too, man. I hope you get some good pulls. I hope everybody in here gets good pulls. When you do pick up a good one, like Rushy already pulled another Prime Pro, when y'all get some good ones, um, y'all post them in the chat. I'd like to hear some good pulls, man. Maybe it'll bring me some good luck. I tried to go to bed early last night just to try to get catch up on some sleep. Um... Didn't work too well. Cats woke me up like nine times running around. There's that Lonzo ball I picked up in the last event. <clears throat> I'm from the future. It's Friday, 12.06. Dude, that's awesome. Well, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, dude. Very first, we got 16 pulls on the draft board. Let's go. Let's pick up something good. Tristan Thompson. I do already have this one, so no good. And if y'all haven't seen before, I am trying to pick up every single card in the catalog as well. So even the ultra rares, I'm not necessarily upset about when they are the ones that I do not that I do not have. So as long as they are something I don't have. Curdy with uh, Vucevic in the Paragon pack today. All right. We we got enough tickets for a Paragon pack, and we got enough ticket. Well, almost enough uh, points, enough crowns. So I'm going to be doing another Paragon pack and gold pack video soon. I'm sure it'll be sometimes this weekend. God, I love all these picks, dude. I love getting all these picks. How close am I to an elite pull? Well, I did pick up an elite pull in the event, which was my very first one. And I want to say maybe 
I don't know, maybe 40 or so, maybe 40 resets since then. So, I don't know, man. Maybe close, maybe not. I don't think 40 is quite enough to get another one. But hopefully. Angel, first draft reset. I pulled a Epic Prime Rudy Gay. Not bad, dude. That sounds like uh, Rushy. Rushy pulled an Epic Prime very first reset as well. That's pretty sweet. My chat is uh, actually working in Streamlabs. Thank goodness. Baker, the goat is here. What is up, dude? Am I going to finish? I'm definitely going to finish, dude. Do you think I'm going to go out like that? I got to finish, dude. It's a requirement. I need I need the pros, though. I need the pros, honestly, because um, Epic Prime pros are better than regular elite cards, and you know that we have to have those uh, good cards for the gauntlet. So Epic Prime pro, I only have two, I have two elite pros, and so my third best card in my deck right now is the Prime Pro from last event. So I got to get it gotta get it man fear the moons what's up dude welcome man i am uh hopefully you are doing good i am doing all right as well lorenzo what is up dude dean what is going on man didn't know that this event was happening till i saw the stream yeah i was quite surprised they have two flash events in one single week two flash events that's given us at least things to do um during the week you know last week we were lucky to get a flash event during the week and um now we got two in one week man that's really nice but thank you guys everybody that is coming out even the ones that aren't posting in the chat thank you guys as well if you're just watching ace what is up new member I'm the new member in your team. Awesome, dude. Well, welcome, man. I'm glad you can make it out to the stream. We want to see some hot streaks, too. We really need those hot streaks to be able to finish this. Um, I don't want to have to use those free... Even though that it's handy to be able to use those uh, free ones. But I don't want to have to use those. We want some hot streaks to be able to finish this quick. But I got to get this done for sure. Close to elite tier in Gauntlet. That's nice, Rushy. If you get to that elite tier, I would think to do the plus sevens for the event card in the Gauntlet, you would need at least elite plus for plus sevens. Jeff Green, an epic card. All right. Don't have that one. So I uh, can't be disappointed in that one. Adds to the catalog. Epic Prime, Bobby Portis. Man, that would have been a, a dupe for me. Xbox One. What is up? Watching at school. Hopefully your school day is going good. Get you some real education in the stream right now, right? Instead of what they provide. Nye Roberts, what's up, dude? You can only stay for one hour and 30 minutes. Need to get ready for work. Yeah, I got, uh, I got to get ready to uh, go pick up my son as well. But we'll be able to get a full stream in today. So that's nice. Can y'all join my Discord, man? Fear, fear the moons, dude. I have so many Discords that um, I I already don't necessarily post in a couple of them already, and they're my own Discords. Discords is tough to keep up with when you do so many things. Sixteen picks in this event is boss. Yeah, no doubt, dude. That's why I love the Gauntlet. Uh, the main event for the gauntlet is amazing because you get four elite cards and you get the epic prime you get you get so many cards in the regular gauntlet plus you got all those picks which is amazing i love the regular gauntlet so a flash event is always good too because you can still get tons of cards and quite um you know you pretty got a got a good pretty good percentage of pulling your top tier card at least once if not twice or three times because you get so many picks yeah i hope they can do um if they can do flash events all season 
I I kind of honestly I kind of like how they do a how they're starting with a preview of what's to come like they did a uh, King of the Court uh, flash event and then they did a King of the Court main event and then they did a Rivals Clash flash event and now hopefully they do a Rivals Clash main event I kind of like that idea and then throw in the gauntlets and stuff in the middle would always be nice maybe even a new game mode would be pretty good what team rewards do we have? We're not going to use any team rewards for the gauntlet because you get so many picks. I'm going to use all of the bonus picks. We got two extra bonus picks for the um, for the Rivals Clash, so I'm going to use them for I'm going to use them for the Rivals Clash event because we only get two picks, and so and they only last 24 hours. So I'm going to do it all for the all weekend, um, at least for the first 48 hours. Antonio, what is up, dude? How come Lori in the first event was a foil, then they stopped? I don't know. That's a good question. That is actually a good question. I would think that for the gauntlet, they probably didn't do the foils because you get two of them. Uh, for the first one, they had, at least for the very first event, it was only one single card. And for the last one, they gave out a pro, which is better than a foil. And this one they're giving out a pro as well, um, which is better than a foil. I don't think they're going to give out a free pro foil. And so uh, I think that's probably why they did it is just because they're making them pros instead of instead of actually uh, doing the foil by itself. Which isn't a bad idea. Just pulled an epic throwback version of AD. That's awesome, dude. Probably his... Uh, um, historic, maybe his historic card. That's, I think that's the, yeah, that is the epic. I think that was like close to his rookie season on that epic. And from what I understand is from what I heard was that that's the best epic. So that's always nice. Elite spinner already, but you got an epic Courtney Lee Baker, man. That's tough. I pulled, I don't know if you saw the results video, but I did pull a uh, elite spinner in that Rivals Clash and ended up getting my fourth time that offensive support, that elite offensive support. And there's that Hassan Whiteside, which was my first elite pull on the draft board. Marking in first reward foil. So as you see, a lot of these rewards are just from playing and grinding and scoring high. Pulled an elite Steven Adams. Steven Adams has an elite card? I did not know that, man. I did not know that. Hun with the elite spinner, dude. That's awesome. Elite Tobias Harris. I didn't know Tobias Harris had an elite card. Uh, fear the moons um, send me a message with your with your discord link in the um, in the discord send me a message in the discord with your discord did anyone else get that notification yesterday about introducing two new game modes I was thinking that that notification was for the console game Michael I could be wrong but I was thinking that when I saw that it was for the console game Did they fix it when it came forth? Um, they fixed, I mean, they gave us our rewards that we were missing. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but they gave us the rewards that we were missing from that first event. So they put them in there. They didn't even send me an email back saying they fixed it or anything. They just, I guess, just put them in there and was like, yeah. Stoyakovich. Antonio, that's awesome, dude. I love Stojakovic is a good uh good three point shooter offensive player. They got so many guys on here, so many cards where their offensive stats are absolutely crazy. Um we need some more guys with defensive stats.
a lot of times in the rivals clash the games that i would lose in the rivals clash would be because i would get only defense and they would get all offense and offense typically with the cards offense is always better than defense um, on the majority of the cards Got an elite from an elite spinner. God, Gorn Drogic. That's awesome, dude. Old Phoenix Suns player. There's a lot of these elites that I didn't know um, even existed. So hopefully we can start pulling some elites. I only have four of them. But at least now I can get them on the draft board. And it is the gauntlet. We're going to get tons of pulls. So hopefully we got some good um, good luck. 38 resets. Got the Kawhi. That's awesome, man. I see all the time people pulling stuff in uh, like... Um, who was it? Uh, Tom in the Discord pulled a Mike Bibby Elite card, man. I see all these cards in the, in the Discord that make me jealous. Or envious, I should say, since jealous probably isn't the right word. Um, at least the jealous is more like a misused word. Should be envious, but I think people just say jealous anyway. You put the link in the Discord, all right. It's just hard, Fear the Moons, at least for me. I mean, if it's a 2K, if it's one for 2K, I mean, I already have a 2K one, which is mine. So, And I have enough trouble keeping up with my own, let alone with um, other ones. Same with Injustice, dude. I, I have trouble even going in there anymore because I got so much stuff going on. And we got the Supercard Discord as well. I totally forgot we um, we got a supercard event going on. We got the gauntlet in supercard, Road to Glory, right now. So I don't know if anybody plays if anybody plays um, supercard, but the main event this week for uh, supercard is Road to Glory, which is exactly the same as the gauntlet. And so, um, which is kind of cool. I like it, and it's an all-female version of Road to Glory. So all-female cards, which is awesome. We haven't got one single hot streak yet. They're probably going to be a little bit stingy on the hot streaks. Whoops, missed that one. You've gotten two hot streaks in three games. Okay, well, they're going to be stingy to me for the hot streaks. Maybe not everybody else, but definitely to me. Just bought your second Bo Dallas in uh, Money in the Bank. That's awesome. I'm still trying to save up mine. And I know with my PvP ones, I have um, I have enough to get the, the Goliath. But I almost want to wait to see if they put in a SummerSlam in the PvP rewards. They are called Grit. Huh. They're called the Grit this year? All right, all right. I'll probably still always call them Hot Streaks, though. Just for the simple fact that they've been called Hot Streaks for so long. I think I've said that 10,000 times in all of the streams from last year and every single event that we've always done. This is going to be a hard habit to break, is uh, calling them Hot Streaks. Considering every single event, they have a different name as well. 
So not only you got to get them straight which event has which ones, but... Game just glitched out, gave you zero points and minus one picks. Huh. I know it's done that minus one picks before on the grits to me. Um, it's done that before. After I use one, it'll go to minus one for some reason. And then reset to zero once I actually play the game. But um, never on actual points or anything. Or just regular picks. Oh, you got the picks in the win. Good. You pulled a foil Aaron Gordon. Dude, that's going to make me jealous too. He's another Aaron Gordon's another Arizona player. I want that card along with the Mike Bibby. Man, everybody pulling, everybody pulling some good stuff. Martin's Epic Prime for daily login bonus. The daily, the monthly login pack opening is coming very soon. Obviously, we only got one week left. Got to hit that 28-day mark, but um, hopefully we can pull some stuff in that as well. Seven points every time. We still have yet to hit a grit. I'd say the most pain in the butt thing with this game is that you have to go to your cards and uh, feed them in so often when it comes to uh, this game mode. I don't even have cards. I don't even have cards to uh, to put in here. Like I'm out of elites. I'm out of epics. I'm out of epic primes. It's going to be tough to find cards to actually put in here. You pulled an elite Al Horford. Dude, that's awesome, man. Everybody getting good pulls. Maybe one day I'll get one. Hopefully we can get one. For some reason, Blue Stacks is like freezing up or something. I don't know what it is, what's going on with it, but it's like uh, freezing up. I haven't checked the catalog to see how close I am to completing Ultra Rare. I should be pretty close. I've done, I've done at least 50 pros, I think. I think I've done at least 50 different pros for Ultra Rare. And I have close to, four, I think I've gotten 40, 40 plus epics. That's going to be my goal is to try to get the entire catalog finished. Regulars and pros. I did pick up the final of the rares, so I am done with com com common, <laughs> common, uncommon, and rares. So I, I have completed all of the cards, pros and regulars for all three of those and should be getting pretty close to uh, ultra rare. Obviously, the higher tier decks are going to be really tough. No stats in the 700s. Ouch, dude. Ouch. That is, that is garbage, man. That is definitely garbage. But, I mean, an elite is an elite, right? I know, at least for me, I would take it. I would take it. Because it would help. I did pull right after I did the results video of the last event, the Rivals Clash. Right after that, I did pull another Epic Prime on the draft board. So, I don't remember who it was though. It was, uh, it was a point guard. I can't remember. I can't, I don't know. I can't think of what his name was. Let me turn this down a little bit. You only get rares. Well, 
you will definitely get more than rare for at least the gauntlet because, um, well, you just get so many picks. Eventually, you're going to pull something good. I'm trying to somewhat, I'm trying to somewhat do the supercard road to glory at the same time as well. My team is now ultra rare plus plus plus. You got three plus. But as long as you get cards in your uh, daily logins that will help you man, that's always good. You got to be sure to hit every day though. Even if you don't play every day, you got to be sure to hit that daily login every day. You don't want to miss out on your possible chance to get an elite just because you uh, missed out on the login, which takes five seconds to actually pull up your phone and do it. Still no hot streaks or grits. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Oh man, I just got happy. Did y'all see that right there in the chat? I, I pushed the button too quick. I need to I need to uh, not push it so fast and expect that I'm gonna get something good. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Ariza is a pro for me. So I already have the Trevor Ariza, which means he is a pro and now going to be the third. I'm, I'm assuming um, the third best, third or fourth, because I, I do have one. And um, so I do have this Trevor Ariza already. So in general, Epic Primes are nice, but the fact that it's a pro, which means it's better than an elite card is even better. So I do have the Trevor Ariza already. So that's really nice. I can't remember if I took a picture. I better take a picture of that. So already got a pro. That is awesome. I will take it. Gauntlet starting off sweet. And of course, Trevor Ariza being on the Phoenix Suns, even though he is by far overpaid like crazy this year. I mean, he's getting what, 15 million or something, 17 million this year. Crazy overpaid, but you know what? He's on the Suns. I'm going to support him. I just saw that that card was a um, ultra rare pro. I almost lost to that. I almost lost to that ultra rare pro. Hot streaks are really hard to get. They are definitely hard to get. Yeah, I left it up there, Baker. Hopefully you've seen it, man. Only 234 more games. We should be getting close to uh, our 2,000 mark, I think, too. I think I have like 1,800 matches, 1,800 games. And so we should be getting pretty close to the 200 or 2,000. I think 2,000, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the 2,000 is your tier player card not a support card so that'll be another elite as well so that would be cool did you buy the games with credits I did ace I did buy the games with credits man when I do streams and stuff when I do the streams I do buy game nights with credits uh, just because I don't want y'all to have to sit through going looking at ads every five minutes just so I can um, just so I could get my free game nights. And so uh, just to make it easier on everybody and at least more enjoyable, I use credits to, uh, to do game nights. I'll end up using all of my free ads and stuff tonight. So that's re it's really not a big deal. I would have probably had to use them for hot streaks anyway to be able to finish. And so uh, not, not, not too much of a big deal.
That is correct. Okay, good. That is good. I want to get another elite card, of course. So that will be nice to be able to get that. And then I think after 2000, it's either... Oh, there we go. We got a grit. We got a grit, finally. Let me get another pull. Come on. Eh, not an Aaron Holiday. Your deck is now elite tier. That's awesome, dude. Can't use any more credits to pull any elites. E. Pulled another Tobias Harris. Derek Grooms, man. We got another Tobias Harris pull. Maybe Tobias Harris is like, oh, look at that. Miles Bridges, another, um, another unique one for the catalog. So I do not have this guy as well. So another rookie, which is cool. Um, and another new card. So I'll take it. But uh, Derek, I did pull a uh, Trevor Ariza Epic Prime just a bit ago. And uh, that is a pro for me. So that's good. Give me that pro. Give me that epic prime pro. That's going to help the deck a lot. Finally, I got grinding to epic to elite. Yeah, you always want to... Got to keep grinding to get that elite, man. That's definitely the goal. Look how close they are on those ultra rare pros. I mean, they're not too close, but they're still pretty close. That would have been a pro for you? I just want some of the cards that people pull, man. I'd take an elite. I don't care who it is. Pro or not pro. Um, just give me an elite. I would like, of course, something different than what everybody else is pulling. But if you're going to give me one, even if it's the Tobias Harris, just like I got the last one that everybody else has, I mean, I'll still take it. I will definitely still take it. Yeah, your gauntlet deck is elite. Quick game is elite plus plus. But that's pretty good, your gauntlet deck. Mine's still Epic Prime. Epic Prime Plus, I think, is my gauntlet deck. But uh, obviously, the Trevor Ariza Pro is going to help it. And everything else we pull. And then, of course, we got the event card starting for this weekend. Do I got any predictions? What do y'all think in the chat? What do y'all think in the chat about any predictions for this weekend's event card? Or, since it's Rivals Clash, right? We're going to have two, actually. So, I'm curious if they do, um, I mean, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I seriously doubt they will do Hornets and Bobcats again. I seriously don't think they would do Hornets and Bobcats. Because, I mean, what elites are Hornets and Bobcats that you would really want? It will not be eight. And look at Roberts, man, trying to uh, throw some salt out there. It will not be eight. And come on, man. We don't. But it's going to be interesting because this will be the first one, obviously, in which the people playing the game will get to choose which team they pick and which, in turn, choose what event card we're going to have. So I'm going to be excited to uh, see what two teams and what two event cards it's going to be. Hopefully everybody in the chat will go with me and pick the one that I pick just so we could get that event card. But uh, I can't blame you if you don't. OKC versus Seattle would be nice. You're right. I think that would be cool too. 
I mean, that kind of has a, obviously a similar theme to the past event. So we got Hornets, Bobcats, you have the Thunder and um, the Sonics. So that would be kind of cool. Cat, Jimmy Butler. Both of those would be cool. Jimmy Butler because he wants to leave. I wonder where Jimmy Butler would go. Maybe he, maybe Phoenix could pick him up. I'd take a, I'd take a Jimmy Butler. Just give us an. He could play. Um, even though we need a point guard, we we definitely need a point guard. It will be Jalen Brown. That'd be interesting. Another young guy. If it's the Warriors, I'll pick them. <laughs> Sorry. Hey man, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. If it's the Warriors, I probably won't pick them because last year, if y'all remember last year how they did when we made Legend, they all they had two they had two Legend event cards that were the Warriors, and uh, that kind of frustrated me. In my in my five card deck, I had two Legend um, event cards that were Warriors: the Clay Thompson and the KD. And so uh, I'm kind of tired of having Warriors as event cards. Still from last year. Jimmy Butler going to the Clippers. Net, Nets and Knicks. That'd be interesting. Devin Booker event card. I really hope so, Dean, man. As y'all know, Phoenix Suns, that is my team. So uh, Devin Booker would be amazing to get another event card for him. Steve Kerr versus Booker. That'd be cool. I mean, I'd rather I'd rather go with like a well A Warriors a Warriors Suns um matchup would be awesome, but honestly, I do not want the Suns in in uh, Rivals Clash. If I was to be honest, because I am not sure that the Suns would ever have a chance to win versus almost anybody. I don't think the Suns have too many people that um, that would pick them. I think they would lose versus almost most teams. So as long as the Suns get an event card in another event besides for Rivals Clash. Finally got a grit. That's good. We got our first one last time. Pulled an Epic Prime Jeff Teague. I'd be happy if that was a if that was my next pull. Because that would be another another dupe for me. Maybe a Kyrie. That'd be cool. We didn't have a Kyrie event card last year. Let's go, man. Let's get something. Let me get an elite. I hate those draft boards in which they take you all the way down to the very last picks, dude. Those are so irritating. That happens so often in the game. The wolf with the triangle. Where are you at? Not against the Kings. Well, that's true. That might they might win against the Kings. I totally forgot I got some free cards in uh Supercard right now. I gotta get my free pack. I still for those of you that play Supercard, man, I know tons of people are getting those throwbacks. I have not pulled anything good in those uh freebies. I still gotta pick up 
Um, I still gotta pick up my freebies in here too. The amount of ads you can watch for extra game nights are different than the ones you get. I, Ajax, I think that is correct because I have ran out. I have ran out of ads for game nights before and then still had ads left over for my free picks. So, oh, somebody already answered that. Thomas is on the ball, man. Oh, I just saw that you uh, posted that you pulled a Rudy Gobert Elite card, dude. I can't believe I missed that. Nice job, Thomas. Welcome, welcome to the stream, too. Welcome to the stream, man. And everybody else that is new to the stream or if you're old, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, too, if you do enjoy. Really appreciate it. Really helps me out. As y'all know, as I say every single time. But uh, y'all have no idea. That stuff really helps. Helps the channel. Is it uh, Rivals Clash or Gauntlet? It's Johnny Bravo. We're talking Rivals Clash. They can't do a real life Gauntlet already. I mean, obviously it's up to uh, 2K, but... Oh, Tom. Oh, man. All right. All right. What is up, dude? I know. I mean, all you had to say was Tom from the Discord. Trust me. I, I posted in the in the Discord. I mentioned earlier in the stream, actually. I uh, I um, gave you a shout out earlier for pulling that Mike Bibby um, earlier in the stream. Trust me, man. I did see that and was super um, envious of such a amazing pull. Gotta love me some Mike Bibby. But maybe, but maybe Cat Daddy's gonna be super nice and let me pull a Mike Bibby in, uh, well, or he can give me a rare Tyler Johnson. Come on, give me a mic, baby. Hmm. God dang, got over my uh, over my inventory again. That is one thing that I wish, really wish they would change. They need to up our inventory spots. 200 for the inventory. Last year it was the same thing. I mean, we just don't have enough space for all this stuff. I would really like to see them up that. To 300 would be nice. Up it to 300. Fingers crossed you can pull them. Yeah, I know last year, Tom, in all of the um, events, like uh, the Damon Stoudemire, when the Superstar came out for Damon Stoudemire last year, man, I really liked him. He, Damon Stoudemire was one of my favorite players as a kid, and I really, really, really wanted to pull him. And uh, when he came out in Superstar, and I actually didn't pull Damon Stoudemire until I was legend. And it was like three, maybe three events until the very end of the actual game is when I finally pulled my very first Damon Stoudemire. And so uh, that was very disappointed. But you know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. I never pulled an Amari Stoudemire last year, which is what I really wanted. I never pulled a Sean Marion last year. Um, I got the Devin Booker star card towards the very end of the year as well. So that was another one I wish I pulled right when it came out, but never did. So there were tons of cards last year I never got that I wanted. 
2K15 started at 100 cards, but then they upped it to 150. God dang. I couldn't imagine doing these events with 100 cards. Like, you literally would not be able to save anything with 100 cards. Let's get our freebie real quick. Let's see what our freebie has. Has anybody pulled good stuff? I know last time last time we did a stream and we did this, um, I asked, and I think someone said they pulled an Epic Prime before. I pulled an Epic Prime support card once. That's been my highest. I mean, you can't really count the support cards, though. But regular cards, ultra rare, has been the highest. Tried 12 shakes on that one. Didn't work. I guess no 12 shake glitch. Let me watch this ad. Maybe it'll, I don't know if it'll work or not. All right. Well, that's good. Antonio just pulled your first no upgrade elite spinner. Dang. I kind of wish, I, I mean, at least for me, I know I would definitely rather have the elite spinners from Pain Forum instead of doing them, just pulling them outright. Like pulling an elite spinner, like outright wastes your elite pull. But if it comes out good and you end up pulling something good, then then that's great. But yeah, there you go. Support rip. That's what scares me, man. Wasting your elite pull, which you just did. Like you just wasted your elite pull on that. And all you got was a support for it. So that gets frustrating. Just pulled my first no up. Oh, I just read that. Managed to pull an Epic Prime Jokic from the freebie during the week for free. They dang, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah, Ultra Rare has been the highest. Um, not even an Epic, just a regular Ultra Rare has been the highest. Watching ad to upgrade to Epic Spinner. Finally pulled a great. Yeah, we've only had one of them. We've only had one since it started. You know what? I probably should have done credits before I started this, man. Because these gauntlet games are going by super quick. I'm not going to have enough credits in my thing to be able to, uh, to go the whole way this time. Should have did it before. Do you only get one credit per freebie because I get two every... Yeah, you get two. You get two credits. You get two credits every freebie and every pack. That's it. No four, no extra ones. Sometimes you can get extra cards. Sometimes I've pulled two cards. Like two uh, uncommons, two rares, whatever. But I've never pulled a... Um, never pulled anything more than two credits. Landed on Epic Prime Spinner card. I did that. I've, I've done that a couple times. I landed on an Elite Spinner once. My last event. I pulled an Ultra Rare Spinner. Upgraded to Epic Prime. And then on my Epic Prime Spin. I landed on Elite. And that is when I pulled that amazing. Um, so when I pulled that amazing support card. So... Kind of trolled me with that extra elite spinner, but it turned out not being any good, so. Gotta head out for a bit. Hopefully you can watch the end of the stream. Well, thank you for stopping by, Antonio. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the support. Stay on your grind. Hopefully y'all can get some good cards, or hopefully you can get some good cards. Pulled an epic Mike Scott. Dang. Well, at least it's a card, not a support card, dude. I would take a Mike Scott because I need him proed for the catalog. Ooh, we're going to start with the supports again. Last event, I pulled a ton of support cards. A ton.
how many y'all when you do your when you do your uh, stuff how many of y'all do designs in the in the draft board when y'all are picking or do y'all just do random I think most of the time I do some sort of design or something in there when I'm picking cards instead of just doing random if I don't do them in order I do them in order a lot too You do random crisscross. I know I've seen some people do. Uh, um, I've seen some people do uh, in Supercard. I've watched a couple. You know, sometimes when I watch a couple of Supercard videos of people doing uh, draft picks and stuff, the designs that they do and the pulls that they get, I try to like copy the design to see if I can get the same pull see if like there's some sort of um, I don't know in their algorithm for giving out cards if there's some sort of way that how you pick them will help increase chances of who you pull just weird theories just trying to figure out a better method to get better cards Always go cross design. Pattern going down from the corners. We'll do the next one. I'll do the next one a big C for Chicago. And maybe that will give me some good luck for Chicago. Ace, you can done for now and uh, continue when you wake up. Yep, yep. Well, thank you for coming out, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, glad to have you, man. Glad to have you. Welcome to the team. Um, and yeah, just get on the grind whenever you wake up. I know, obviously, there are other people on the team right now that are in the European countries and stuff. So I know that uh well you're probably like in australia or something if it's nighttime for you or uh some maybe asian country some sort of eastern asian australia type of thing um but there are people that are in europe that also you know are seven hours ahead and then they go to bed a lot earlier than i do I do like how for this, at least for me, it starts 11 in the afternoon or 11 in the morning, I guess. I kind of like that. Supercard super card events start at 2 a.m. for me. So it's really late for Supercard, but for a lot of other people, it's in the morning. So it's kind of flip-flopped. I guess there's really not much to the design of Chicago with a big C. I think we should probably do it like that. Skip that corner. That's not what I wanted to see. Lonzo at work, man. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to the. <laughs> Hopefully your day is going good at work, dude. I hope your day is going good. I know how you feel, though. I know how you feel. Working those long days. I know the Flash event, this past Flash event, the Rivals Clash, dude, I was so tired. I worked all day, um, stayed up all night, only got like two hours of sleep to make sure I could get that top 250. And then uh, that's why I tried to go to bed early tomorrow. Events start at 1.30 a.m. for me, tough, yeah. Yep, that is uh, that is definitely tough, Tom. That is definitely tough. That's like super card for me. Super card events start at 2 a.m. But these, on the other hand, 2K events start at 11 a.m. So that's a lot better.
SC, what is going on, dude? Welcome. Welcome to the stream, dude. Glad to have you. Hopefully your grind is going good. Hopefully you're getting some good pulls. We've had some people in the chat pull some great stuff so far. Lots of elite cards. We have not pulled an elite card yet. We pulled an epic prime. We got him as a dupe. So that's better than an elite. I mean, not better than an elite, but it ends up being better than an elite. Events start 5 p.m., which is good, but end at 5 a.m. Ouch. The ending at 5 a.m., that's tough, dude. That is tough. Because especially on those events where you have to make sure your score is high enough, you almost have to wake up like an hour or two. You got to wake up at like 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. just to make sure that you have enough points to get in whatever tier or whatever it is that you, uh, you um, want to get in. Dude, that's tough. Hope I get an elite in the stream. I hope so too. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Events start at 12 a.m. Yeah, those nighttime ones that start at night are tough, dude. I feel ya. Got an epic Nox. I think I, I, I think I need him pro too. I have, I don't think I've pro'd him. I have his regular. No, I have his regular one, but not. I don't think I have his pro one. Got your very first epic. That's good, man. Keep on the grind. Epic Prime coming up, especially if you can get uh, some more good pulls for sure. Just seen the top team rewards for 25k teamwork, but that's not even possible. What are the team rewards? I, that's, I'm definitely going to check that. Let me check that out real quick. I wonder if it's any different. TJ McConnell. There's another Arizona player right there. All right. We're going to keep doing this C then. And I needed the TJ too because he's uh, I have his card and need him pro So the TJ works out good. Give me that. No. You can't even tell that it's a C. I almost have to do all the cards. I'll do the next one for all the cards around the C to make it uh, to make it better. Oh goodness. All right guys, if y'all have never known before, um, every time it rains here, we usually have some sort of electrical surge spike where the power goes out for five seconds and then turns back on. So to give everybody a heads up, just in case that it happens, um, if the stream goes completely dead, that is the reason. I just heard a crazy loud thunder crash. So, um... For three hours, team members have an increased chance for supercharged keys. Um, 25,000 supercharged... I can't wait until they make these rewards, like... I would uh, think that they're going to make them where uh, we're going to be able to get Throwback Thursdays, rookie cards, you know, when those cards come out. Those are the ones I really want. But uh, three hours for supercharged keys. Eh. Focus cards. The focus cards will be nice. The 20000 for the focus cards, that is the one I definitely want. I know people that are trying to pro elites, but I don't have the problem with supercharged keys just yet, even though that that'll probably help. Level up cards, skilled, skilled is worthless. Um, six hours, team members receive plus two draft picks. This is gonna be really nice as well. So we'll, we'll use this six hour one, um, this uh, 12,500, we will use this six hour one first. So for those of you that are on the team, um, we get 12,000 points for this event. We will use this plus two draft picks for the first, for the start of the event. 
um, on Friday and then just do the plus ones I go to bed at 1 a.m. and I play and I get the card I want huh. managed to get top 250 as well. well that's good yeah that top 250 getting that epic prime pro dude that helps Historic Tyson Chandler epic. That's nice. Love Tyson Chandler. Just pro the Josh Jackson. That's another nice one, dude. I want to get that Josh Jackson. I need that. I need that card pro as well. You got another epic. That's good, Martins. Keep getting those epics, man. You get those epics, you can get them proed, which means you can get up into that epic prime tier. So uh, keep pulling them. Hopefully you can get some. Uh, hopefully you can get some spinners too. You get some spinners. Maybe get lucky with doing the upgrades and getting an epic prime or an elite card. That is the only reason I moved up from epic to epic prime was because of a spinner and being able to get uh, a decent card to jump me up there SC is epic prime pro this event attainable for free I would think so uh, because you do have 20 game nights you can use free game nights you know watching the ads and stuff but um, I would think the only way you're gonna get it is if you do not miss a single game night I don't think that you can really miss any game nights I think that if you hit all free ads and you get all game nights for pretty much the whole time you know go to sleep in hour intervals wake up and do it uh, I think you can probably get it especially if you get a little lucky with getting those hot streaks or those grits on the draft board but I think it can be done whether or not it will be done I don't know I personally would rather just spend five extra dollars and just uh, buy 12 grits and just do it that way but if you can't obviously if you can't do it um, then you know you're just gonna have to grind you're definitely just gonna have to hit every single one every single game night saving cash for the elite events I know I know how that is for sure because this weekend's rivals clash you know we just pulled this dude this weekend's rivals clash is going to be I'm sure crazy amount of points Della Dova, another rare card. Stop being toxic, 2K. Stop being toxic. Giving me them nasty rare cards. Pulled an epic spinner, upgrading to elite. Good luck, Tom. Man, good luck, dude. Hopefully you can pull something good. guessing 5k oh I guarantee you if you make top 500 I'm you know I'm almost I almost feel like you're probably gonna need 6k 6k plus for that 500 for that top 500 if not more than 6k and I honestly I'm going for oh man I'm going for 6k I think that to be safe you probably need to get 6k you might be able to make it with five I mean you might be able to make it with five that's quite possible but uh, oh my god Tom level up card 
Dude, that is the absolute worst thing you can get. That's almost like worse than a focus. That's almost worse than a focus. Both of those, focus and level ups, are just about as or just about the same. See, Dom, that is why I do my eyes closed, man. I do my eyes closed, and I don't even. I just. I just submit to the to the cat daddy gods and just pray that um, you know. Be nice to them. Call them. You know, you are amazing. Cat Daddy, y'all are great. You're the best company in the entire world. Please give me an elite type of thing. Say a quick prayer to them. And then just push the button. But, um, SC, like I was saying, dude, you might be able to make it with five. It's quite possible. But for me, I am pushing for six. Six is going to be what I'm pushing for. But we'll have to see. I mean, we're definitely going to have to see. And it's also obviously going to depend on who it is. Like if it's good, if it's really good cards that people want, um, if it's something that is, you know, one of the highest um, desired players, I guess, in the NBA, you know, I think that that could have an impact on it as well. Glad you can play indefinitely because free players, yeah. I mean, but this year, but this year, um, you know, honestly, so far, at least with the first events, being that they have those ads, I have found like King of the Court was extremely easy with the ads and stuff for free players. You know, if you're a free player, you can get the ads, and it uh, seems like you'll still be okay. Hey, we got a grit. We got a ticket. And we get a rare support. Dang it. Finished out the C, too. If it's a Devin Booker, you ain't sleeping as a Phoenix Suns fan. No doubt, dude. I'm the same. If it is a Devin Booker, you know that. Uh, I mean, I'm already going to get it anyway. But if it's a Devin Booker, wow. I would definitely have to go 100% all out on that thing. Where's my Trevor Ariza? There we go. See, there's my Trevor Ariza right now. Let's level up this bad boy. Sins, what's up, dude? Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're able to uh, stop by. Hopefully your grind is going good. Getting some good pulls. We do got this Trevor Ariza. That is the only good card that we've pulled so far. So the Trevor Ariza, but it is a pro, which makes it an even better card. Back to the grind. Catch you later. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out, dude. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate the support. Be sure you hit a like on the way out. Um, and everybody else that hasn't yet that's new to the stream welcome we do have a discord channel it is in the description be sure you go check that out along with hitting that thumbs up and the sub of course if you are new as well because we do have another stream tomorrow look at that I'm the man he keeps pulling those hot streaks or the grits lucky We've only pulled, I think, three of them. I think we've only pulled three so far. Get the tickets. All right. We'll claim the tickets. As you see, I do have enough tickets in order to get a Paragon pack. But I am saving it for the video. So... 
For those of you that were wondering, I am not opening a ticket pack till I have enough crowns so I could make another gold pack opening with my Paragon pack. But I do have enough tickets to get a Paragon pack. I just got to get the crowns now. It's for a video, Rushy man. For a video. Got to do it for the video. Um... Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, and also for those of you that were asking earlier about the team, we do have our, I, I completed, I guess, filled the spots. So we are at full strength right now, 15 out of 15 members. And, um, you just pulled another Aaron Gordon, dude. Everybody gets all of these cards that I want. All of my Arizona guys. Open the 6K pack. You will get nothing in it either way. Ah, no. No doubt. I know the first one, the first 6K pack, we got an ultra rare and a rare. The second 6K pack is... Um, was a what was it it was an epic and an epic so out of two 6k packs we have not pulled anything higher than i think i've done three of them now haven't i done three of them i was thinking i did i think i did do three of them i can't remember what the other one was i think it was an epic and an ultra rare was the other one hey there's that anthony davis dude i like that card that in Anthony Davis looks good. Pulled zero um, Epic Primes since Elite tier. Got four Elites though. Well, I would trade. I mean, I would no doubt trade for that. I mean, I, if they give you Elites instead of Epic Primes, I would definitely take that trade. Anybody got an idea why your gauntlet won't load up? That's weird. Um, can you get into... I mean, you can get into the game. Did you try to load up another game mode? Like, try to do a game of Raining Threes or something. And see if uh, you can open up that one. You were a top grinder on Supercard, but then got banned. And now I'm playing this. Why Why did you uh, get banned? I mean, you don't have to say if you don't want to, Rushy. No big deal. But um, I'm curious. I mean, why? what happened? If you care to share. You don't have to if you don't want to. But uh, are they ever going to let you back in? Is it like a lifetime ban? Everything works. Everything works. I've deleted and reinstalled, but nothing. Huh. That's that's weird. Um, Do you have any other device since that you can play on? Do you have a computer? Like me, I play on the blue stacks. I play on blue stacks on the computer when I do streams and stuff. And... Um, And then when, um, and then when I want to like watch a movie or something or sit on the couch, then I just play on my phone. So I play on two devices all the time, switch back and forth constantly. Sometimes one device works better. Well, I tell you as far as connection goes, uh, blue stacks works much better. My connection on my phone for some reason always, um, like always fails. It always says waiting on network or connection failed or something like that on my phone your account has been locked since 34 tier have you uh have you tried to get your account unlocked and maybe maybe season five they will let you bring you back in or something
Yep, getting these 16 picks is great. I completely agree, dude. Getting the 16 picks is absolutely awesome. 14 points. Love the grits. Nope, you hate Supercard now. Okay, no problem, man. Well, Rushy, either way, I'm glad to have you on the team, dude. Um, keep grinding. And like I said, you know, y'all don't have to. I know that like last time, like people asked, you know, am I getting whatever? Am I getting this? I mean, as long as you do what you're supposed to do, you know, everything's going to be all good. So don't worry about it as long as you do what you're supposed to do. Um, as far as like, um, um, what was I going to say? As far as this weekend goes, like you, you, I don't know if you've seen in the chat, but, uh, someone on the team said, Hey, I'm not going to be available for this weekend and I can't, um, I'm not going to be gr able to grind. He has to go do something. And so he gave me a couple days notice and he let and that way we could switch them out so if a situation ever comes up where it's like that man just tell me and that way I can switch you out and then whenever he's ready to come back he can be able to come back and so um, but yeah as long as you do what you're supposed to man you're all good because like I said once those throwback Thursdays come out once throwback Thursday come out the rookie cards come out in this game mode you know we got tons of we have tons of um god dang this chair this chair makes me freaking sweat like crazy it's like solid leather stuff sitting in it for hours it looks cool but it's freaking uncomfortable shit uh, I like playing this more. That's awesome. Check the Discord DMs. All right. Give me a moment and let me jump on Discord and I'll check them out. Worth the try. Yeah, I would try it, Sins. I would I would try it if you have a, especially if you have a PC. I mean, if you have a PC, I would try playing on Bluestax. And at least for me, the easiest thing I found to be able to switch between back and forth, because I, I play on an iOS phone, and Bluestax is a uh, Google application. So it only does Google apps. And um, with me, the way that I log in from an iOS into a Google app, um, I guess, thing is that I use Facebook so what I do is on my phone I log in not only through my game center which is the fa or which is the iOS one but every time I log in on my phone I have to be sure that I log into Facebook um, through 2k and that way it saves my data through Facebook and then when I log into Bluestacks I log in through Facebook instead of logging in through Google because I don't have Google and so it's work. I mean, it works good. I mean, that's how I switch my data back and forth through each other is just through Facebook. Same with uh, all the other apps that I play on multiple devices is I just do it through Facebook. Man, it's freaking raining hardcore right now. Tyson Chandler. That dude got a beard. I guess it's like a... I'm going to grow my beard out like this dude. That would probably take me a, two years to do. Let me... Um, how many how many ones do I got? Let me clear my inventory quick. We got a minute. I'm going to wait a minute and then do another refresh after I get that free game night. Let me check team points. Let's see how our team event or how our team is doing. All right, we're looking good. We are looking good so far. Everybody getting in those games. I didn't even see. Um, 
let's see we got 15 people right so 15 people I think that 20,000 would be a absolute amazing um, goal let me see what that is that is um, 1300 points so 1300 points a person and how many total points are there in this event that's 70 we got 105 we got 140 175 okay well that's not even possible there's only 938 points there's only 938 points in this event so how do they figure that's gonna work so it's impossible I mean there's only there's 15 people on your team the max you can get is 938 points. You can't even get 1,000 points. So we can't even get 15,000. We can't even get this 15,000 one. We're going to be lucky if we can get this 12,500 one. I really wanted this 12,500 to get this plus two drop picks for the weekend for the weekend event. But, man, dang it. Dang it. Uh, I don't finish this. No, Rushy. No, nah, man. Like I said, the, the flash events are a lot more, I guess, lax. Not necessarily a requirement, just that you have to play. You know, participate, you know, put in some points because we still want to get some rewards. You know what I'm saying? But I know during the week, it's a little bit harder for some people. So, um, and especially with this many flash events, like if we're really going to have two flash events a week and then the main event on the weekend, the really the only guaranteed requirement is the one on the weekend and so uh for the flash events you know just do what you can like i understand people work school during the week as well and then you got you know things that you do otherwise and so as long as you put in a little bit i mean i would like to obviously get that twelve thousand five hundred, but in order for us to get twelve thousand five hundred, i think at least 10 of us would have to finish this thing And so I don't know if that's going to happen. I know I'm going to finish. I probably, and I think that a couple people are for sure going to finish. But just do what you can and uh, just don't, like, not participate. You know, put in some work. Gauntlet is super easy. Like, you just push the button. Like, you just push the button. Like, you don't even really have to play. I mean, you don't even have to look at it. You just push a button. You can almost do it blindfolded. You could, If you have little kids, I mean, you could literally get your little kids to do it. What the heck happened to my thing? Why is this thing so far up? Y'all didn't even tell me that my webcam was like completely offline. Thought y'all were looking out for me. Um, at first I thought this gauntlet would be boring, then you get 16 picks. Yeah, dude. 16 picks it makes it a lot better i mean i've had um you know some of the gauntlets from last year dude you get you can get over 300 resets in one gauntlet which is really nice i mean 300 plus resets dude Derek, you've been pulling a ton of hot streaks. Dang, you dude, already 10? Man. We've only we've only had a couple. I think we've only had like three or four. Roberts, you gotta get ready to work, so you gotta go. Alright, man. Well appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Have a good day at work. Hopefully it goes by quick and you can get back and keep on that grind. Get some good pulls from the trap board. Be sure you hit the thumbs up on the way out. 
Definitely appreciate that. Everybody else as well. Same if there's anybody new. Hit that sub button. We got another stream coming tomorrow because, of course, it is going to be the um, Rob's Clash. Have I bought any packs? No, Ross. I do not buy packs. I just can't muster up. I mean, I spend so much money on this game every single year, and I spend it for to get the event cards and spend it for the streams. Like I spend so much money, you know, like I use uh, all of my credits for the game nights for the streams and stuff. And then I use it to get event cards and I just don't have, um, I just can't, just can't afford that. I mean, I shouldn't even do, I shouldn't even do what I do now, but I still do it. I'm a grocery store bagger, courtesy clerk. Dude, that was my um, that was my first like real job, not like job job, but like my first job was a as a paper boy. I drove around on a moped and delivered papers at four in the morning. That was my actual very first job. Got that when I was like 14. But um, you could get a moped license when you were 13, so I had a moped <laughs> driving to uh, middle school. When I was in middle school, I used to drive a moped to middle school and park it at middle school. And um, that's how I got to and from school was on a moped. But um, that was my first job when I was 16 was at a grocery store at Kroger. Actually ended up getting fired because I'm such a bad kid. But it's still fun. I mean, not the bagging part, but the people I worked with was kind of fun. Man, it is really raining right now. I don't want, uh, like I said, if y'all missed it earlier, I know I explained this earlier in the stream, but in case you weren't here then and you are now, um, every time it rains here, literally, it feels like every time that it rains here and it, the thunder and lightning are here. Not just a little sprinkle, but when it's raining pretty good. Um, we have weird surges of electrical, I don't know, power that turns off the power and on the power in about, you know, we lose power for like three or four seconds at a time. A lot. And so if the stream just completely dies out, it goes dead, it's because the the power went out for that split second and it cut everything off. So just in case it happens, since it's raining so hard right now, I don't uh, want y'all to be like, where'd Sunny go? It's sunny and 66 degrees in California. Well, it is not sunny, and it's hot here in Texas. Actually, the heat doesn't bother me. Heat never bothers me. It doesn't matter if it's 120. I mean, I grew up in Phoenix, and so I'm used to super hot temperatures. The thing that bothers me is the sun. The sun bothers me. Even if it's 66 degrees, if the sun is bright and like beating down on you, that bothers me. I hate, I hate the sun. Really cold temperatures don't bother me either. Because I lived in some, I lived in the like the hottest, at least as far as the United States go. I lived in some of the hottest places in Arizona. You know, sometimes it'd get 115 in the summers, 120. I think I was there when it hit the record of like 123 one summer. And then I've lived in really cold places as well. I lived in Wyoming, which if anybody is in the United States, you know that uh, Wyoming is an absolute ice tundra of, well, 
actually it's not a tundra because it's mountains but um it gets really cold you know negative 20 negative 30 wind chill with 15 foot snow drifts in your front lawn So I lived in both the hottest of the hot and the coldest of the cold, at least as far as the United States go. I think the coldest place in the United States is in Minnesota, though. Sixty-six degrees. You're in France, where I live. It's thirty-five degrees. Now, are you saying? 35 um, Fahrenheit or 35 Celsius because obviously there is a definitely a big difference square with a wolf why I pulled an elite support as my reset bro I I feel ya yeah I think he means Celsius too. I mean, I think the formula is, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but it's some, it's like three, four, no, it's five eighths. I think the conversion is what? Five eighths uh, multiplied by Fahrenheit. No, the, the, the degree temperature minus 32. I think it's five eighths times whatever temperature it is minus 32 I could be wrong it's something like that I can't remember what it is you got an epic pro right there that epic pro would have been able to beat another one I think both of those would have been able to beat my uh, ultra rare yeah, I shocked to see 66. 35 is like 95 to 100 Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's a that's a normal day here. But the temperature doesn't bother me, you know. Like I said, I've lived in desert and I've lived in ice. I like the cold better though. I'd rather it be freezing temperature minus 20 degrees. Snow everywhere. I'd rather live in that than live in the desert heat. Just because I don't like the sun. But uh, an elite support as your reset is tough, dude. I know four times, Derek, four times. I don't know if you saw in that uh, results video. But four times I have pulled an elite offensive support from an elite spinner. And so that's frustrating too. Yep, but you like the Phoenix Suns, and my name is Sunnyside. Like, it's weird, right? Like, it seems a bit ironic that I hate the sun, but I love the Suns, and my name is Sunnyside. So, definitely ironic. So, obviously, you know that neither one of those things are affected by my feelings towards the actual star. Cause I don't like that guy. We've still only pulled one epic prime. We started off the stream pretty good. I think that was like the third or fourth reset. We started off already with an Epic Prime, and we have not... Well, I take that back. We've pulled a couple new to the catalog. New to the catalog Epics. But we've not pulled anything better than that. Nothing better than that. Uh, those couple Epics we pulled a little while ago. I didn't want to pick that one. Yeah, the stupid offensive support 
is the only thing the spinner. Yeah, man, they, they that's so frustrating. Like, if people play this game, well, I guarantee you, one hundred percent of every single person that has played and gotten that elite spinner at some point has already pulled that elite offensive support. But yet they leave it on there, and so it's like an absolute complete waste because everybody has already pulled it. Like at least change them out or something, you know, make them different every week. Josh Jackson is your best epic pro behind Wendell Carter Jr. They got to remove the focus cards. They definitely have to remove the focus cards or at least give you 20 of them or 30 of them or something. I mean, getting focus cards absolutely sucks from a spinner. But sometimes, just depending on which one it is, like if they gave you 30 of them or something, then maybe it would at least be some sort of consolation prize, which is still a bad one, but getting one single focus card is not a cool thing to do. Just like giving you one single uh, level up card. I mean, these level up cards don't level up the card very much. Got that Trevor Ariza done. Let's go pro this bad boy. I am not using any of my, I know that some people have or do, but I do not use any focus abilities. I do not use uh, any of my keys on any of these epic primes or nothing. I'm just going to use them all on elite cards and that's it. So let me check to make sure. I think it, just to make sure he was level 20. Yep, level 20 and level 20. Get that bad boy. All right. So we got our second Epic Prime Pro. I will have to agree, though, that Trevor Ariza isn't the best of Epic Primes, but he is now going to be the fourth best card. I don't think he's going to be better than Jeremy Lamb, but he's at least going to be the fourth best, and we're going to get another one for the Gauntlet, so we'll have five cards. Those will be our top five. from the spinners and then level up cards are pretty common yeah level up cards no doubt i mean you do get tons of focus cards but in order to max them out you need 480 you need 480 total focus cards because you can save up to 120 uh per per color Oh, we'll start off with that Trevor Ariza Pro. I like it. We only got a couple more left of this from the rare tier. I think we're on rare. Only a couple more left. Hope we can get one more at least decent pull. From the draft board before we go. Usually when we do the gauntlet streams, we usually get better pulls than this. We have not gotten very good pulls so far. Especially compared to everybody else in the chat. Everybody else in the chat pulling all these elite cards and stuff, man. We need one. We need one to be part of the group. I really hope they stop putting up these pictures soon. I know they need pitchers from like NBA games and stuff, but uh, they should be hopefully putting up these pitchers pretty soon. I'm sure the NBA has to you know approve a certain time or a certain pitcher or a certain everything in order for them to be able to use it in order for uh, cat daddy to be able to put it in there 
I'm sure they got to get some sort of approval for it. So that probably takes time. Best card you pull was an elite Kawhi. All of the resets were almost ultra rare. Yeah. I mean, I would, if I pulled that elite Kawhi, well, the Epic Prime was good. I mean, no doubt. The Epic Prime was good just because it was a dupe, but. Hold on. Oh, sorry about that. The cat, the cat snuck in the room and I heard him and I uh, had to jump up and chase him out. All right, now we're on ultra rare Justin Holiday. Already got this one duped and everything, so not even going to help the catalog. The next one will though. God, I get this guy all the time. We have been getting a ton of rares. Tons of rare resets. Tons of rare and ultra rare. Dang, another one. Jesus, another one. We got like, uh, how many did we get? Four rare resets in all of this? Whoops. The Denzel was the reward. So we got that one, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five rare resets and one ultra rare in one turn. Five rares and one ultra rare. That's pretty garbage. By the way, if you ever know, if you ever need one of your elite card rankings, let me know. I know all the elite cards in order. Well, okay, Derek. Um, yeah, man. Tell me what I have. Um, Manu. I'm curious about where Manu is because I know that my Jamal Mashburn is number 20. Where is Manu at? I have Manu, Clay Thompson as well. I know Clay Thompson isn't as high, but... Um, Who else is my other one? Clay Thompson and Hassan Whiteside. I think Hassan Whiteside is probably one of the worst ones, like probably bottom five, I would think. But uh, Clay Thompson probably in the 30s or 40s, maybe 50s, 30s or 40s, 50s, somewhere around there. And then I, th I would think Manu would probably be top 20. But I don't know, man. If you... I'd like to, I'm curious about those. Manu is eighth. That is what I like to hear, dude. That is what I like to hear. Let me get that card all proed up. That's some good, that's some, that's some good news. That is some good news. Is that junky old Hassan? Somebody's got to be towards the bottom, though. It's still an elite card, so I can't I can't complain. I mean, it's an elite card, which I'll take. Thought he's ninth. Well, whether it's eighth or ninth. That's still amazing. Still better than my Jamal Mashburn because Jamal Mashburn was 20th, I believe. Um, how many elites are there? I think there's like 70. 15 likes, no dislikes. That's good. 
That's good. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. If y'all haven't yet, 15 likes. How many people are here? Looks like 25 people watching. So all 25 people, it should say the like count should be at least 25 right now. Y'all get there. Get to that 25 for me. We got 25 people. I'm sure some people have already pushed it, so I can't. So they'll have already counted. But 25 likes. Let's go, baby. Whiteside is 48th. Wow, that is actually pretty surprising. I did not think he would be ranked that high. Clay is 19th. You're telling me Clay is better than Jamal Mashburn? Why are they going to do that? Why would they do that? Why would they put Clay better than Jamal Mashburn? Another rare, dude. These rares are disgusting. But if he's 19th, I'll, I guess I'll still be happy with it since he's top 20. It still surprises me, though, that they would put him... Who disliked somebody disliked because I said that, dude. You know what? Fuck them, man. <laughs> Tell them to go get a life. You know? Why are they watching if they're going to hit that dislike, dude? Just say, go do something else. I don't want you here. God dang. But let me tell you. I mean, if for anybody that has done YouTube or anybody that has done streamed, you would not believe, you would not believe the crap that some people say, not only to me, but uh, on, on streams and stuff. Like, it is ridiculous, the hate and the negativity that people like fester inside of them and they see something and is like, uh, and is like, you know, have to let it let it go I have some people I have some people that are still mad about things from last year that still post and comment on my YouTube channel like it has it has uh, filters and stuff so it blocks a lot of stuff right that y'all can't see same in the chat too like sometimes people will come in here and say the nastiest things in chat and y'all never see them because they uh, the filters block it and they block the things on the channel but they leave comments and say the nastiest things to me the most hateful negative things for no reason whatsoever and I don't get it like I don't understand why people do that just like I'm like this is a lot of work like doing this stuff and trying to uh, make videos and do this stuff is a lot of work and a lot of people just like I understand if you don't like me and don't like my videos and don't like the content and that's perfectly cool not everybody is gonna like what I do but you don't have to like be so hateful it's crazy you would not believe the things that people say to me in comments and stuff but you got to just ignore it and just move on and try to uh, do the best you possibly can and just be as positive as possible. I don't hate anybody no matter what. I just, there's no room, there's no room in life for hate. It is like the worst emotion that uh, you can have. There is absolutely nothing that ever comes good out of hating. But anyway, let's get some positivity going for the draft board. We need some positivity. We need to get some good. Come on, let me let me do my quick, let me do my quick uh, prayer to Cat Daddy. Okay, I have asked them for an amazing pull for the stream. I I. I asked them, you know, for the stream, I said, you know what, you don't have to give me necessarily anything too good for the rest of this, for the rest of the event or the rest of the day. Just give me something good right now for the stream, for everybody here in the chat. Let's go. 
Come through for me. Come through for me, Cat Daddy. Cody Zeller. Ah, halfway. Man, that's halfway. I guess that's halfway to the halfway to the uh, best possible. I mean, I will take a positive from this because it is one I still need to be duped for the catalog. So I already have one Cody Zeller. And so I will definitely take it because it, uh, it helps with the catalog. I'm trying to get all those pictures done. Need his pros still. So I will take it. I'll say thank you. Um, Epics still will work as long as they are uh, cards I can use for the catalog. So that's nice. I'm going to get this catalog filled. I really want to try to get the catalog filled. I think that would be cool. They should have done that as like a reward or something. Like if you fill an entire team catalog, just like they do in 2K console, if you fill an entire team catalog, collect all the cards, you should get a special card. Like if you're going to try to dupe and pro and collect all the singles and do all that stuff for each team, they should give you a special team reward that can only be got or only be received if you collected all of the cards in the team. But I'll still take it. That epic is definitely a uh, decent one for me. Decent. And all the epics too. We, we pulled two other epics before that that were new to my catalog. Pretty soon we're going to have to start deleting cards though. Deleting all the ones that are I'm collecting and gonna have to write them down the ones that I'm missing Mr. A B What's going on dude? Welcome to the stream man. Jason. What is going on? Both y'all welcome to the stream. Hopefully your day's going good here. It is absolutely raining like crazy and um, we're still going on a B I'm still going on man um, getting that road to glory done still getting that road to glory done I was doing it earlier at the same exact time I was playing that game in my hand on my phone while playing this on the computer. So uh, I was doing both of them at the same time trying to uh, trying to catch up on some Road to Glory. So it's pretty neat. Haven't pulled anything in it, but I like the Road to Glory this week for sure. I like that it's all females. That's going to help. Elite Jabari Parker. That is a nice, uh, that is a nice one. I can't wait till I get to SummerSlam. You're not playing Road to Glory? I am. I need those elite, I'm, er, elite. I need those females. I need those females for the deck. For sure. I'm going to try to get through Goliath. But Elite Javari Parker, dude. That's awesome. I think... Is that not your, like, second Elite pull already? Man, all you guys with those amazing pulls. Ultra rare. We started off with a few supports and only have hit a few cents. So at least we're not getting crazy amount of supports like last event. Last event, I got so many supports. My first elite poll was from the spinner. All right. Julius Randall is the worst elite. Can't believe so many things I haven't 
done today, haven't with today. Not sure what you mean. So many things you haven't done today? Do we have any game nights left? I don't think we have any game nights. We don't. Um, how many cards we got? Yeah, we might as well put these into the into the Trevor Ariza. Keep leveling him up. So many things happened today. I got you. Yeah, every day, every day with me is absolutely crazy. It seems like every single day is chaotic. Every single day is a rush and a struggle to keep up with everything. Like as soon as I get off the stream, I got to, uh, oh yeah, okay. I, I know what you're talking about. Um, but as soon as I get off the stream, I got to clean the house. I got to take a shower. I got to go pick up my son from school. I got to go to the grocery store. I got to come home. I got to make dinner. We got to do his homework. We got to uh, um, get ready for bed. Then I got to get back on the grind all night. And then all night, get the gauntlet done. Get the road to glory done. And then I have to get up in the morning, 6 a.m. Got to get him ready for school. Got to take him to school. So it's a... Um, a grind LeBron KD and Harden top three I guess I can't be too surprised where is where do they have Curry I mean they don't surely have Clay Thompson higher than Curry do they Making a new team as your team deck is SummerSlam 18 and helping people who need those Summer 18. SummerSlam 18 cards. Well, that's awesome, dude. That is pretty darn cool. Curry is fourth. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that makes sense then. I was wondering since Clay Thompson's so high. I mean, I guess why. I guess they might as well make Curry just as high as well. At least close to it anyway. So we are pretty much out of credits. We are out of this. We'll do a couple uh we'll do a couple free ads and then we will uh take off for the day. We are at two hours right now. I can't believe that it's already gone. Why? This two hours has gone by pretty quick. This day is going to be hectic, and it's pouring down rain outside. Which makes it even worse trying to go grocery shopping. I mean, how many of you, like, go to the grocery store, you walk into the grocery store, it's not raining, and then you leave to go out to your car, and it is absolutely pouring down rain trying to leave the grocery store. Dude, that's like the worst. But I still got to go. I'll send you the full list in the Discord DM so you can see it. Okay. Yeah, man. Send me the full list. That is cool. I'll take it. You got Steph from the 2K Gameplays. That's awesome. That is awesome, man. AB, I hope you have a good day and you can be happy after all the hectic day. You do it every day. Yeah, dude. Every day is absolutely crazy. Just like yesterday, man, I had to, you know, just like the event times. I get up, I go, you know, do the events like yesterday and Tuesday. I have to get up, do the events, get ready for the events, then leave leave the stream, then go to work all day. I don't get home till like 9 o'clock at night. And then, <laughs> then I have to stay up all night long, grinding, trying to get all this stuff done, tired. Wake up early in the morning, start all over. Oh, it's 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 um it's taxing, no doubt, dude. But I hope you have a good day as well. 
You have a good day, man. It's getting ready for the weekend. It's almost Friday. This weekend's gonna be a good weekend. I tell you, my one ultra rare pro that is in my deck, in my gauntlet deck, man, that thing gotta go. We gotta replace that guy. Oh, but we did get the epic pro Cody Zeller, so at least that'll replace it. If I don't get anything else. You have a math exam on Monday. I mean, it's hard to give tips on math, because depending on the topic, depending on what you're doing, I mean... Um, I can tell you though that after all of my years of not only teaching college, teaching high school, and my two degrees in school, 99.9% um, .9 of all people study math wrong, and they um, and that is why most people do so bad is because they don't know how to study so. Um, keys things that you have to know when it comes to math one would be whoops let me get my free ad going here one know your vocabulary vocabulary is very important they don't emphasize that at all in school hardly any schools anyway but vocabulary is essential when it comes to uh, math two practice 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 man you didn't wake up one day when you were four years old and just realize how to tie your shoe you had to practice over and over and over again the first time you tied your shoe guaranteed you you probably didn't get it done second time a little bit more difficult third time you're doing the same process over and over and over again but um the same process you know you uh See, this is why I don't. I hate doing the game nights, man. The waiting on network pops up, but uh, you need to practice. Don't look over any math problem. Don't look at it and try to memorize it. Don't look at it and try to memorize steps. You gotta practice. See, that thing does it. That thing does waiting on network all the time when I do the ads. Vocabulary in math, yeah. There is a lot of vocabulary in math. And one of the problems is, is that people don't know vocabulary in any math. And you ask them, what is this, what is this? And they don't know what you're talking about. Hold on, be, be right back. All right, sorry about that. I had to log in via my Facebook. So uh had to do that. But anyway, when I do the free game nights and stuff, sometimes that, that waiting on network pops up and it just won't ever go through and it's just really frustrating. What vocabulary? Well, it depends on, okay, like if you're talking about maybe in geometry class, right? If you're talking about geometry, then you have to know... Um, you know vocabulary as far as you know perimeter or circumference or area or polygon or um, um, any type of three-dimensional shape whether it be a pyramid or a prism or a cylinder or a 
all of those things in which you need to know if you're talking about algebra stuff then you're talking about things like um, um, domain and range and um, variables and intercepts x intercepts y intercepts uh, function those basic words in which you know if I ask somebody hey tell me what a function is people would just stare at you like they don't know what to say when you ask them if I said ask you you know tell me what a function is they'll just look at you tell me what domain is I am 10 okay well <laughs> that kind of eliminates a lot of the things we were just talking about geometry you're definitely gonna have though fifth grade you need to know if you're 10 um, wait I am 10 wait are you saying 10th grade or you're 10 years old because if it's 10th grade I'm in the 10th class not 10 okay you're in the 10th class so that I'm, I'm assuming 10th grade so that's probably geometry or algebra um, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I was wondering when you said 10. All right. But, um, I mean, like if it's still, like I said, algebra, you know, and I asked you, you know, tell me what a function is. Tell me what domain is. Tell me what range is. You know, no, they're just going to look at you funny. So, like, those words, you need to know what they actually are, what they mean. And when you're doing your math problems, if you read a problem and don't know what the word is, then you need to figure it out. You need to find out what the definition of that word is so you can know what you're looking for. It's a lot of things, like one of the things that people don't do. Oh, scalene, yeah. I mean, you're talking about scalene, isosceles, and equilateral, if you're referring to triangles. And then you got acute, obtuse, and right, if you're talking about the angles. It's not in my country vocabulary. I know, I know what you mean. So like, if I say domain, you don't know what I'm talking about because the word in your language is not going to be domain. It's gonna be something else. And if you don't know that word in your language, then you're definitely not gonna know it in English. So I know what you mean, but the point of it is, is just when you're doing your problems in your language and you come across a word you do not know, and do not know the definition for you need to uh, find out figure it out ask the teacher find out in the book etc vocabulary is important all right enough math I think we fried most people's brains already Derek <laughs> worst subject best subject is writing language arts yeah Yeah, I think uh, enough. I think I think so many people could only take about five minutes of math a day, and then their brain is fried. So that's our that's our five minute math lesson for the day. What college did I go to? Well, I got my bachelor's degree from the University of Arizona. And I got my master's degree from the University of Houston. And so uh, both of those is uh, where I went. Arizona obviously was my favorite because my undergrad degree um, was a lot of fun. When I was in graduate school, it was a little bit more serious. Obviously, I was older and uh, took college a little bit more serious and didn't do all of the fun stuff, all of the partying and hanging out with people like I did when I was in um, in my undergrad. Trigonometry. Yeah. Polynomial, poly. You probably, since you're talking about algebra, you're probably talking about a polynomial. And then linear quadratics. Yep, all of those you definitely need to know. No doubt. 
Houston. Yep. Right by the water. I live actually on the water. Which is why if you were um, in my streams last year or following the channel last year, last year we had a massive flood from the hurricane that came through here and flooded my entire city like six, seven feet of water. Millions and millions and millions of dollars of damage. Posted a video about that back in September of last year. If y'all have never, if y'all weren't following me back then. Hurricane Harvey. That, uh, hey, maybe this one will actually work. We're only going to do a couple more and then we're going to take off. And then we're going to take off. Yeah, they're still fixing it. Like, sometimes when I do streams and stuff, I always say, you know, sorry about the noise if y'all can hear it because they're doing construction outside. They're still rebuilding. I mean, it's been over a year. And they're still re rebuilding or actually about a year how many ads do you get you get about 20. you get about 20 ads and then you uh and then you got to wait till the next day mine refreshes early in the morning so if i use all of mine right now i think i'm actually going to be able to use all of mine tomorrow morning as well i think they like refresh at like 6 a.m so if I get all of these done today, um, I might actually be able to double dip. I think most people can probably double dip too. Since it, it's a 24 hour period, you'll be able to use all of today's and then whenever yours refreshes. So whenever, I would figure out when y'all's does refresh and use all 20 of them before it refreshes. So for me, I think it's about 6 a.m. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's it's it was sad to see. Like it was crazy when um, I mean a few weeks after it happened, they had to get rid of all the cars, right? And so it was weird seeing like the apartment complexes with not one single car in it. Like there was no cars anywhere. It refreshes when your daily goals refresh. That is an awesome tip, man. Thank you for letting us know, dude. Yeah, for me then, then that is early in the morning. Hurricanes do suck. That's mother nature for you. I tell you, hurricanes are nowhere near as bad as tornadoes, though. I have been in a hurricane. I have been in a tornado. And I can tell you, out of everything I have ever... I've never been in a tsunami, so I can't compare a tsunami. But I can tell you that tornadoes are absolutely 100% terrifying. They are terrifying. Hurricanes don't really scare me. Um, even though that we flooded and we got crazy and all of that stuff, man. Tornadoes are freaking terrifying. Did you see the typhoon in Hong Kong? I did not. I did not see that. Fortunately enough where I live never get tornadoes or hurricanes. That's good, dude. Yeah, there's definitely some places that don't get anything. I mean, you could be in one place like uh, I can tell you if you live in the United States, they have we have the largest, you know, active volcano, I guess, over there in Yellowstone, which at some point is going to erupt. And imagine Imagine for those of you people that live in Colorado, Arizona, California, Nevada, all of those places. Um, the time that when that volcano in Yellowstone actually erupts, which it will do, and there will be people that live here in the United States when it does erupt. That's going to be terrifying. We're talking about all these natural disasters and stuff, dude. While it's raining, man, we need to be positive. You die when it erupts here in Arizona. Well, I'm willing to bet that our generation will probably be... It's, it's possible that it erupts before we uh, move on, but... Um, even though that it's past its due date, you know, it's quite possible that we make it through our whole generation without it. 
going off. I mean, it could be another couple hundred years. Or it could be tomorrow. I mean, we honestly really don't know. But you live in Arizona, dude. That's awesome. I love, um, I don't know if you've ever heard me say, but I live and grew up in Arizona. Went to college in Arizona. And uh, I love every Arizona team. And so um, every Arizona team, Suns, especially the Arizona Cardinals, Arizona Diamondbacks, all those are my teams. Arizona University of Arizona Wildcats, those are my boys. Bear down. Hopefully you're not an ASU guy, because then, because then maybe we might have some issues. My mom went to ASU, and we got some issues. We got a family family uh, rivalry. Finally got an epic prime Markinen. What? <laughs> that is awesome. You pulled a Markinen on the draft board. Unfortunately, not the foil. But, I mean, you can pro it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pro it, though. Even though you can, um, I wouldn't pro it. I was disappointed in the walk. I am very disappointed to see how the football team has been playing. I am very disappointed in seeing how the football team is playing. That's, that's, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe we can turn it around. I won't pro it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't pro it either. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, um, hopefully we don't end the season at the bottom of the, of the pack 12. I do not want to end the, at the season at the bottom, but we do have basketball, right? We do have basketball. I just saw that we signed or we got a uh, letter of intent or a commitment letter from I can't remember who it was, but somebody, it was one of the top shooting guards, I think, in the country. I think he was a shooting guard. Could have been a small forward. I honestly can't remember. I saw it a couple days ago, but he committed to Arizona. So that excites me. I love to see all these new good guys, new top recruits, five-star recruits. Get, the, get those Arizona commitments. So that's nice. Last night, it was up at like 2 a.m. Gave me four resets. Epic spinner. Epic. God, dog. I love getting those back-to-backs where you pull another one. When you pull an Anthony Davis and it's the epic one. I'll take the epic because I don't have it for my catalog yet. I would take it for just the fact of putting it in the catalog. Oh, I know, man. I know, dude. Alonzo. God, I know, man. Some of them, like some of these guys that get like such big heads and thinking, you know what? I'm better off in the NBA. I want to get my money. I'm really good. Yeah. Yep. Sad story, man. Sad story. But you know what? Some of them, though, like Markinen, right? Markinen only played one year. He was just a freshman. He he did really well in 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 college. He I wouldn't say that he's necessarily had a outstanding pro career, but um, you know, he only played one year. He was a one and done. Alonzo played a couple years though. Does the catalog really improve? The picks you get, or is it just a myth? No, I think it's just a myth. I think it's just a myth. But interesting enough, I will say though that interesting enough that when I was proing all the cards, this was happening when I was a rare tier, when I was just rare tier only, because I'm not quite far enough in ultra rare yet. But when I was in rare tier, I was keeping track of the cards that I needed, right? And when it got down to about only 10 pros left, when it got down to about 10 pros left, I will tell you that 
about 50% of the time, I would say about 50% of the time when I had only about 10 pros that I needed for the rare tier, it was actually giving me the card I needed. So I will say though that it felt like then when I did it with the rares, it felt like then it actually felt like it was doing an impact on on completing the catalog but it could have been that it was just random i'm going to test it again obviously when i get some more ultra rares i think i have like 20 left when it comes to ultra rares so we'll have to see Yeah, I I mean, I will you getting better stuff now that you started collecting. Yeah, I mean, it's what it felt like for a quick second on but I tell you the very last rare, the last rare took me about 4 days to get. And so it might have some impact but not like overwhelming impact. You know what I mean? Because the last rare took a long, you know, took me like four days to get. And you pull a ton of rares. All right, we're going to do just one more. We're going to do just one more ad and then we're going to take off. But I will let you all know for sure. Once I get closer, I think I have, like I said, about 20 ultra rare pros left. And when I get, when I get down to like 10 or something like that, if I'm starting to get, if I'm starting to see a lot of new guys that I've never seen before, then... You will definitely, then it'll definitely feel like it plays some sort of role or impact in what you're actually doing. Switches, always, always joining at the very end, man. Always joining at the very last game. <laughs> we typically only go about two hours, but, um,. I figured I'd do just a couple more to try to get a good pull on the stream. Only one Epic Prime. Only one Epic Prime so far though, unfortunately. But at least it was a dupe. And remember guys, tomorrow when the main event starts, uh, we will be having a stream as well. And so the start of tomorrow's event, whatever time it is, then we'll be starting the main. Hopefully the players are good. Hopefully we get our preview today. If we get our preview today, I'll put out, I'm sure I'll put out another video unless of course I guess the only reason I wouldn't is if it was like at 4 o'clock or something and then I'll be, because I'll be gone doing all my errands, uh, picking up my son, making dinner, doing all that stuff. Oh, we do still have two of them. Epic Prime support, man, that's tough. You're an Epic Prime and didn't pro nothing else. And completed all the commons, uncommons now, closing in on rare, see more stuff than before. Yeah. I mean, I've done all the uncommons, commons, and rares. I've completed all of them. And I'm really close to ultra rare. I only have like 20 pros left for ultra rare. And um, today in the stream, I've been collecting singles. I'm not very far on the dupes. But as far as the singles go... I have been picking up a we picked up like four new singles three new singles epics today so I mean it could have like it could be that it just increases your chances a little bit to get that uh, new card or to get those pros and stuff that's quite possible it was Trevor Ariza so we got an Epic Prime earlier, which was Trevor Ariza. Already had it, so it was a pro, which means it's better than an elite card. So that's good. And so that's nice. All right, we're going to pick up two good resets to close out this stream. We got one reset right now. We're going to get another one before our remaining picks. We are going to pull. We, we want either an elite 
or an epic prime pro let's go let's get it let's get that elite pull or a Mashawn Brooks dang it all right we're getting an elite pull this time we got 15 picks left we're gonna get an elite pull let's let's come on be good to me cat daddy be good oh man we can't even use our uh free free watching ads too last pick we're not even gonna get one oh we did and <laughs> jr smith another rare all right well all right well um dang it appreciate that Derek. thanks a lot man so we should be getting our preview for the next event pretty soon hopefully we get it pretty soon actually you know what we have only one minute left so we'll do one more i'll go clean out my inventory we'll do one more and then we will uh, call it a day then we'll get an elite in the next one we're getting an elite in this next one fingers crossed It's already level 19 Trevor Ariza was better than the Hassan Whiteside. That's funny. That is funny. A level 19 Epic Prime Pro was better than the Whiteside. I wonder who the second event card going to be. I know I know that's what we've been we've been uh throwing some guesses out there. I mean not just not just the fact that it's the second event card but since it's Rivals Clash we got two event cards to choose from. Not only just is it the second event card but we got two teams. And so I'm really curious who both of the event cards are going to be. And hopefully obviously I'm hoping that it's a good one for one. And then if it's the one that I pick, because just because it's the one I pick, like I picked the Bobcats last time and couldn't get the Bobcats because the other one worked or the other one worked. The other one won. The Hornets won. And so uh, hopefully we can get the team, not only the team we want, but hopefully the event card is a good event card. You have 50 level ups. I I think you can, what, save 150 of them? I mean, they're not even that. I think it's like as much as if you were to put in like 30 uncommons or something. No, it's it's more than that. It's got to be, it's, I think it's around 40 uncommons. Um, Raptors versus Spurs, Kawhi versus Damar. Now that would be a pretty cool one. That would be a good one. I like that idea. The new Money in the Bank rewards are trash. I have not looked yet. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I want to look. I'm gonna log on and do some. No, don't tell switches. I don't want to see it. Or how about this? Put it in there. You can put it in there and retract it real quick, and then everybody can see it, and then that way I don't see it. I'm not gonna look for ten seconds. And see if uh, see if you put it in there and then leave it. Nine, eight, 
Seven? Six, five, four? Two, one. Okay, I'm looking. Oh, awesome. Retracted. Good. Good duck. <laughs> Good deal, man. Good deal. I like it. You don't think they do players with no pitchers? That's true, too. That is true. I would think that they would do players they would definitely have to have a pitcher for, for the event card. I think that is a good idea. Antonio Chance. What's good? What is up, dude? What is up, man? You always catch it right at the very end. This is our very last one. Um, but everything's going good. There's no sunshine here, but there's sunshine in my heart. No elite pulls. We're getting ready to pull one right now. We just, we're getting ready to pull one right now. Just pulled a pro epic. Nice. I would take a pro epic. A new one anyway. All we pulled chance was the epic prime Trevor Ariza, which was a new one, or which is uh, a dupe for me. So it actually helps the deck. But that's been the only one. We pulled a couple new to the catalog epics, which is nice. An epic pro, which is nice, which is again new to the catalog. And then my epic prime pro. But we are pulling an elite this one. Simon, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. From, uh, um, God, what's, what's that? God dang it, what's that movie called? Where he says, and if I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Can't remember that name of that movie. I really like it. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Come on, elite. Oh my God. Dude, that's like 10 rares in a row. I swear to God, we pulled like 10 rares in a row. Cat Daddy, we are on stream. We demand, we demand a pull. We are on stream. Patty Mills, bro, look at your hair. My goodness. I actually don't think I have this one pro I don't think I have that one pro Truman Show. That is it. Simon, you are the man. It is the Truman Show. I actually really like that movie. Truman Show is some good stuff. Way to come in in the clutch, man. Come in at the very last event. Pop off with some good movie trivia. And you got it. But anyway, bam. Prime. Pull. Yep. Third for me. That's good. It's good. Um, but anyway, guys. That's going to do it. Thanks, everybody that came out. Guys, hit that uh, hit that thumbs up. Fellow Aussie player, Patty Mills. Yeah, I think I don't even think I have him pro up. So that's good. New to the catalog. Remember, tomorrow we will be doing the stream right when uh, the event starts. And I will, assuming that they don't like pop off the preview at like 5 o'clock tonight or something, I probably will be able to put together a video. Has to be before I go pick them up from school, though. So, unless they release it within the next hour or so, I don't know. We'll have to see. But either way, tomorrow, when the event starts, we will be doing another stream. We will be grinding out. And be sure that y'all pick the right team. Please. Please pick the right team. Um, I don't know who the team is, but y'all should know once the thing comes up. Y'all should know what team to pick, and y'all should know what team I'm going to pick. And hopefully, when you come to the stream tomorrow, y'all are riding with me. Getting those victories for the team. But thanks, everybody. Johnston, Michael, Switches, Nick, Simon, Hun, Rushy, SC, Chance. All y'all guys, be sure y'all hit that thumbs up too. And if there is anybody that is not subbed to the channel yet, be sure you do that. Antonio, Derek, 
Um, my thing only goes up so far, but Nicholas, everybody else, man. Thank you so much, guys. And everybody else that I missed, anybody else that's still watching, appreciate that. My chat only goes scrolls up so far. But uh, thanks, everybody that came out. Hopefully, I see everybody tomorrow. Y'all have a good event, good grind. Good luck getting all those pulls. We're going to get an elite pull. We better get at least two elite pulls this entire gauntlet. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty disappointed. Check the results video tomorrow. I'll probably have that out before the stream starts. Maybe not. No, it can't. That just made me think, though. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Tomorrow's Friday. This event is going to end at 11. And start. And the new event is going to start at 11. So does that mean the new event this time is going to start at 12? Because since this event ends at 11 a.m., or right when the normal events start, I wonder if they're going to push back the start of the event on Friday. That's been, that's actually makes me think. But anyway, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a good night. Good Thursday. Thanks for coming out. Till then, peace.